Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And if you own a 40s, 50s, or 60s house, and you're a do-it-yourselfer, I think this is gonna help you out. And this uh, particular drain came out of a 1947 house, and it was all stopped up. I just couldn't get any water to go down through it. I tried Drano and everything, and I tried snaking it out. And I put my snake in here, see, because this, this part is like leaded on, I think, a uh, technique they had back in 1947. But look, this is not what we call a sanitary tea. Today we have sanitary teas like this, where your snake is going to go down into the drain line. But in this situation, it's 1947 job. It, this, I put my snake in here, and it went here, and it decided to go this way, up the vent. You see, there's your vent. It's a one and a half inch galvanized vent. This is galvanized, this is cast iron. And you see another problem that occurs with old cast iron drains is that they crack. We cut it right here. I actually had to open up the wall and replace this drain. And uh, you see, it went all the way through the floor, like right about here, it went through the floor. There was a bunch of holes right here and there's a hole right here. And, uh, This, this pipe was actually cracked as well. See, 1947 cast iron pipe, uh, it, so it would leak. So the only way this drain was working was by leaking onto the ground underneath the house. The real point, you see, here's the P-trap right here. The old metal P-trap. See, I took that off, put my snake in there. So my real point is, if you're snaking out one of these old drains and nothing's happening, your snake may be going up the vent instead of going down the drain. So that's what I really want to tell you. And also, you might have cracked cast iron. So let me show you a few things about how you would cut this. And I cut it with this tool right here. That's a Milwaukee Sawzall. This Diablo carbide tooth blade is specifically made for cast iron. And it really does a job. It's, it's really, really nice to work with. I would prefer using a grinder, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes there's other plumbing right in the area and so forth. You need to be a little more careful. And Diablo, that works really good. And the Milwaukee Sawzall is really good. So you can see I cut it right here uh, with the Diablo blade. I cut it right here. And we cut it right here and pulled this section out. And then... We cut, we cut it here and pulled this section out. Uh, my helper was underneath the house, and he, so he did all the hard work. <laughs> so let me show you how you hook this up with ABS as a replacement. Okay, so you got your sanitary T right here. Your new ABS goes down this way through the floor, okay? And this is your vent right here. You put in a little piece, and you put on one of these shielded couplers right here, Okay, and then you put this on to the galvanized that goes up through your roof. So that's your sanitary tea and that's your vent. Okay, and then this goes down through the floor and then coming out to your drain, uh, what you need, what I use is a two inch by two inch by one and a half. Okay, and then you get an adapter right here. And then one of these type adapters, you go in here. Now, now this one's uh, for one and a quarter PVC. I don't recommend that. I, re I recommend one and a half. You get a little better protection against clogs. So this goes in here. You just need to get the one and a half PVC adapter. And this goes in here like that. It goes in all the way. And then, well, I'll show you. So a piece like this goes into here, okay, and you tighten it down, and then your P-trap goes right here, okay, and then that goes right there, you tighten it down, and then this goes to the throat piece of your faucet. So that's how you would replace this cast iron right there. But the main thing I want to show you 
is it's very, very possible on these old houses, when you're snaking this out, your snake is actually gonna go up through the vent. It's just the way it is. It's just like a straight T. It's, it's not curved like today's sanitary T's. And it is possible with this kind of situation. See, I couldn't get this out to work with it. So it just went up the vent. <laughs> so I wasted a bunch of time trying to snake this thing out. Uh, it's best to just cut them out. In some parts of the country, I know you use PVC, the white PVC. In California, we use the black ABS. See, some crud just fell out of this. <laughs> it was, it's all clogged up. You, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's, it's totally clogged. And there was no way to get it unclogged without cutting this out. If I did get this unclogged, it would still have a crack and leak water in your wall. So the best thing to do is replace your old cast iron and use ABS or in some parts of the country, you use PVC. Another tip, after you've opened up your wall and you're rebuilding it with the ABS or PVC is to not let this piece that I'm pointing to here come out straight out of the wall towards the faucet throat piece. Have it come out at 20, 25, 30 degree angle away from the throat piece and then your P-trap can swivel over to the throat piece. It's going to work out a lot better. You're going to be able to get it more exact. So I hope that helps. Thanks.